TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And whether we won or lost, I'm still wearing my Viking stuff. Go Vikings. I hope we won. Obviously, I recorded this right ahead of time. All right, so um, we're going to do uh, yet yeah, another one, obviously. <coughs> and um, so let's just get right into it. And let's just hope that if, if my boys did lose... It's a good idea I did the wine review ahead of time. Just like the just like the Longhorns one. Alright, so this is the Finca La Celia Reserva. Uh, this is the 2004 Cabernet Franc. It is from the Mendoza area of actually from the Uco Valley of Argentina in the Mendoza region. Um, rinse that out real quick. It is available at Gabriel's for $9.99. That's the, I think on that one, that is the normal price. I don't think that was a disc. So I think with Gabriel's on the receipt, it gives you the normal price and then they discount, whereas specs, you see the discounted price already on the receipt. So, um, let's check it out. Yes, this is yet another Argentinian wine. Uh, we did one a little while back. Um, I promise I don't have the Argentina ringtone this time. Though I thought it was appropriate, at least just because of Argentina, Argentina. So um, let's see how it is. Get it really swirling good. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope I had a good weekend. I'm really just stalling because I'm not getting much out of this. I mean, it smells like wine. It's earthy. So I, I get that out of it. Um, definitely not getting any fruit, so it's not, at least on the on the nose, it's not fruit forward or anything like that. It just kind of smells earthy. Um, nothing really big. It's and not even like, you know, doesn't even, doesn't smell like, you know, the woods or it doesn't necessarily smell like the barnyard or it doesn't smell like dust. It's just a general, very, very generic earthiness. So it's not like there's that specific type of, of, a uh, bouquet to it. Let's see if it tastes, we got something out of it, you know, for the palate. Interesting. Okay, so I know lots of dead air. I'm sorry. Really interesting. It like got better. All right, so the initial thing. Now this was one of, you know how smells and tastes can really like take you back. Kind of like when I made the comment about the plastic floor ca carpet coverings type of thing. You know because that took you way back. At least for me. Um, I don't know. I had this. I guess it didn't really take me that far back, but I, my first impression from the flavor was like those 
those like straw mat type things that you take to the beach. Now, I don't remember us ever having those as a kid, but I, I do have a straw mat that I've taken to the beach when I live in Chicago. Yeah, I know, it's not really a beach, but you know, it has a huge body of water and there's sand. Um, but you, I got that type of, I don't know, as if I had the, the, the wicker part, like I was tasting that, but with like, um, with like a sea salt, like a like the ocean type thing. So obviously, you know, not a Chicago memory because that's a, you know it's a, a freshwater lake. But I got that out of it. I mean, I get some. Maybe some floral elements to it. I mean, this is, I'm not really getting anything that's just like hitting me in the face. So I'm getting things that I'm not used to not used to getting. And that's probably because it's a Cabernet Franc and I don't drink much single varietal Cabernet Franc or or wines that have, you know, a lot of it to, to really influence the palate. But yeah, I guess that, that, that floral... So yeah, okay. Kind of the Pier One, the Pier One World Market play. You know, you, you you're smelling that wood. I mean, it's it's aged for 16 months. I think it says on the back here in new French oak. As I saw it, which is 16 months in French oak. So, um, oh, 80 percent barrel aging, 80 percent of the wine of 16 months in French oak. Okay, so it's uh. So you get kind of that, that wood feeling, but it's not like overpowering, so that's good. But you kind of get that, that type of feeling that you, you walk into a Pier 1. So you've got the floral stuff, so you've got that potpourri type of thing. You've got the, the wicker, you know, that type of wood uh, feeling, some spices. So you get the, but it's, it's really subtle. It's, it doesn't really come at you really hard. The tannins are pretty soft. You don't have a lot of tannins. Um, <clears throat> this is really a five-year-old wine <clears throat> since the beginning of, of the year. Um, actually, it's probably more of a five-and-a-half-year-old wine. So it's closer to six years old than five because, remember, this is Argentina, and they harvest six months prior to um, to us, to the Northern Hemisphere. So um, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I don't think it's as good as the wild card uh, for my palate. Uh, other people might think it's really, really, really good. Um, but it's not horrible. Um, I mean, it's a mid to high 80s. So I, I'd give it probably, I don't know, 80, hold on. I'd say probably an 87. Solid wine. Good effort. Um, not bad. All right, so quickly, before I run out of time, um, this winery itself was founded in 1890, um, and the Uco Valley is in the southwest province of Mendoza. I know I've had, off the top of my head, I can't remember which wine it was, but we've had another one. It might have been the last one we had from Argentina. But um, this valley it has a 3,000 foot elevation, so it's kind of hard to, like, the valley is such a high elevation. But So it's a very high elevation, uh, gets lots of sun. Um, so uh, lots of great things to make wine from. Swag, I forgot to mention that Friday. Swag, click on the link. Buy some, that right now it's probably just going to say 1337 wine, whatever you buy. Whether it's, I don't think I have any hats because the hats aren't really that good so far. Um, t-shirts, I'm going to get some water bottles. I got water bottles, t-shirts, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. Because you just, you just say, put this one image and you go, select a whole bunch of crap. So um, anyway, uh, so click those links. Um, buy some swag. I'll have some new swag hopefully soon. And um, I'm just really stalling, waiting for the ringtone to come up. <laughs> Surprised I got this done in less than seven minutes. And that's really going to be it. Let me drink some water. Wednesday, I knew I forgot something. Wednesday, live Twitter tasting. Uh, twi not the not the usual Twitter taste live, as far as I know that you that you get, but. This coming this Wednesday, so in two days, um, I'll be participating in one of those Twitter live Twitter tastings. 
Um, I don't have off the top of my head to have the, the wines. I mean, I could find them through my email. But I got three wines coming. Uh, or is it four? Maybe it's four. I don't remember. But I'll be you streaming it. So uh, you'll be looking for Leet Wine as an L E E T wine. Uh, you can't use numbers at the beginning of a name for an account on Ustream, so don't look for 1337 wine. So Leet Wine, I'll have the links via Twitter, so you'll see that coming up soon. I'm going to Ustream it, so that'll be kind of fun. So if um, you're watching, you know, if you're available to, to watch it, and it should be um, 6 Central, that really kind of depends on my schedule that day. If I have to work, I can't really get home and get things set up until 6 Central. Uh, if I'm not working, uh, the thing's supposed to start at 5 Central. I'm not sure if I'll start right at 5. It may start like at 5.30. But anyway, I'll be doing it. I plan to actually record about 30 minutes of stuff. Maybe have some, you know, record some of the interaction if anyone's in the chat room, which, um, you know, hopefully there's at least a couple of you. Please? Um, but uh, you know, we'll do some reviews of the wine. I'll, I'll do some Twittering. And um, we'll see how that is. And I have a feeling I didn't start the timer. I didn't. So uh, that's going to do it. And uh, we will see. That's friggin' awesome. That is awesome. So with that, we'll just do this. Later.